Hello and welcome to my video where I'm going to be experimenting with a few different methods that you can use to decorate a suitcase. Whenever I'm in an airport, I always see so many plain black suitcases. And although some people end up buying brightly patterned straps or ribbons so that they can recognize their own suitcase, I think a much better way would be to make your suitcase completely unique. So today I'm going to be decorating my suitcase. And I've never done this before, so this is a case of finding out what works and what doesn't. In order to do this, I'm going to be using some supplies that include paints, paint markers, white gesso, a disappearing fabric pencil, a ruler, masking tape, a pair of scissors, felt, glue, scrap paper and a paintbrush. The paints are a spray paint, a 3D metallic paint, acrylic paint and fabric paint. You want to try and find a paint that's suitable for the material of your suitcase. As you'll see, spray paint is perhaps not the best for a fabric suitcase, but would most likely be good for a hard plastic case. For fabric suitcases, you want something permanent that dries with some flexibility. Okay, so the first paint that I wanted to try was the Cosmic Moon 3D Metallic Silver Paint. It has all the attributes that I want in that it's permanent, suitable for fabrics including canvas, and it dries flexible. So first I drew out some symmetrical lines on the top pocket of the suitcase so that they splayed out from one central point. I used a white water-soluble pencil to do this. As you can see, I drew a design beforehand, which I ended up not following exactly, but it gave me a good idea about what I wanted to do before I started. After all, there's no going back once you begin. I then just painted the design straight onto the suitcase, as shown here. This particular paint bottle has a fairly fine tip, so it's just a matter of squeezing the paint onto the fabric. As you can see, I started from the centre and moved outwards. I would advise that you try to smooth the paint a little bit before you leave it to dry, as any areas where the thick paint is sticking up will become a scratchy point when dry. All in all, I found this paint easy to use, although I was hoping for a smoother application, as you'll see that some of the lines aren't perfectly consistent. It does adhere very strongly to the fabric, so for the most part I would think this will be very durable. However, because it's 3D, it will rub and catch on other surfaces more easily, and will likely sustain damage as you use the suitcase. Overall though, I would say that this method was successful. Right, so next I'm going to be painting a gesso base, and to do this I'm going to be using a white gesso primer, and the reason is it will help to prevent the coloured paints sinking into the fabric, and will also help to make them more vivid. I just don't think painting straight onto the black suitcase would be very successful. So I first painted some dots where I wanted the flowers to be positioned on the main pocket, and then I added lines where I wanted the petals. Note that at this point I took some photos and dawdles before painting the rest of the flower shapes, and this led to the gesso lines drying. You'll see that this made them visible through the gesso and the paint later on, so don't do as I did, paint the gesso layer all in one go so it all dries at the same time. Once the gesso was dry, I then added some acrylic paint in the centre of two of the flowers. And then I used some yellow fabric paint instead for the other centres. I also just added some dots directly on the suitcase with the yellow fabric paint. I'm sure that better quality fabric paints would do the job, but mine were weak and when I painted directly onto the suitcase, those dots dried to become basically invisible. I then decided to paint the petals red, and I did this using the red fabric paint. I also painted some dots directly on the suitcase using silver metallic acrylic paint. As you'll see when these dots dry, this was actually successful and the colours remained vivid. Once that red fabric paint had dried, I then added another layer. Unfortunately, I could still see those gesso lines, so then I decided to try out a red Posca paint marker. 
As you'll see, these markers did a really good job. They covered the lines and they created a solid, vivid colour. You can also see here that when I go outside of the gesso, the colour is a lot less vivid, so the gesso background really does work. I then used the yellow paint marker for the flower centres, just to make them a bit more vivid. Once that dried, I then used a white paint marker to add outlines and details. I outline the flowers first and then add dots and line details to the petals. This would have been easier with a fine tip marker rather than a chisel tip, but I'm just using what I've got on hand. Once this paint had dried, I rubbed it with my hand and also another fabric just to see if any paint came off, and it didn't, so I'm pretty confident about the durability of these paints. They have the advantage over the 3D paint as well, because these paints won't snag or catch on other surfaces. And the final paint type that I wanted to try was a white multi-purpose spray paint. So I'm now just adding some masking tape to the base of the suitcase to leave just a simple stripe pattern. I also use some scrap magazine pages to protect the rest of the suitcase. I then took the suitcase outside, put on a breathing mask and sprayed a couple of coats of white spray paint onto the exposed suitcase. Once the paint had dried, I then removed the tape and found that the paint had strayed a little bit underneath. It was always going to be tricky to securely cover areas of fabric to stop paint getting underneath, since fabric moves and absorbs, but the colour itself worked pretty well. I would therefore only recommend using this method on hard plastic cases. Then for the last method, I simply cut shapes out of thin felt and glued them into place on the suitcase, making sure that the edges were particularly well glued down. Again, even though these decorations feel very strongly attached, they do stand out from the surface, so they will be more vulnerable to being caught on surfaces and being ripped off. I would therefore recommend that you hand sew around the edge of these appliques to stop the edges catching, either using a whip stitch or a blanket stitch. So in summary, my favourite method was the gesso and the paint markers together, but I also think there's a lot of potential in these fabric appliques. I hope this video has given you some ideas and also hopefully inspired you to decorate your own suitcase. Thank you very much for watching.